What's up everybody? If you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. This is the Grow Star S600 LED grow light. In this video, I'm gonna unbox a unit and also test the power output. I've actually had several requests of people wanting to see more budget LEDs, so I think this light really fits into that category. If you want to see more budget LEDs on this channel, hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section below. I purchased this grow light off of Amazon at a discount. Currently it looks like there is a $10 off coupon. Not sure how long this will last, but I did want to point that out. When it arrived to my house, it of course came in an Amazon box. Once I opened up the Amazon box, there was the box with the LED grow light in it. Upon opening the box, the first thing here is the instruction manual. This instruction manual has a ton of various information such as safety information, specifications on the grow light. It has three additional models on top of that which it talks about and compares. It lists what the power output is, what the spectrum looks like, and what the warranty terms are. Next out the box is the power cord, one ratchet hanger, one wire hanger, and then of course the LED grow light. If you want to know the specific features about this grow light, I will link it in the description section below. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 par meter. This measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus 5 nanometers, and measurements are in PPFD. This is just going to give you a general idea of what the power output is. It's not meant to be 100% accurate. I am taking measurements in a grow tent, which has reflective walls, so that could increase the numbers. So just keep that in mind. The user manual says this has a coverage area of nine feet by eight feet. And the Amazon listing says it has a core coverage area of 5.2 feet by 4.9 feet. Uh, both of those must be incorrect. Lights this size are best suited for a two foot by two foot grow space in my opinion. I've placed the light in a two foot by four foot grow tent and I have the light on one side of the grow tent and I'll be sure to keep the meter on one side so measurements are taken in a two foot by two foot space. I'll be taking measurements at three different distances, 12 inches away, 18 inches away, and then 24 inches away. Let's see what these measurements look like.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, I have left a link to this grow light in the description section below so you can find out more information. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.